Hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I'm great. There was just a dog here. Hey, Tuck. How you doing, bud? How's a good boy? Yeah, you good boy, Tucker. It's that time, you know. Vlogmas! Pumpkin, you still pouting? She's pouting. She's out of food. I have this backup food here, the wet food. She's not into it. So I've had... Several people, like a lot of people asking why I'm not daily vlogging, and I explained, well, my weekend vlogs are a combination of daily vlogs, just all, you know, pinched into one video. But I thought since it's December, we can give it a shot. I'm not going to be able to do it every single day and still have the long videos on the weekends, but let's, you know, go, let's just hang out for a bit. Let's go do something. And by let's go do something, what I mean is I need to go get some moss. Someone sent me this cutting a while ago a month or maybe two months ago this borgiana cutting <laughs> borgiana cutting and uh it needs moss i don't really like these to be in just water since you know i've had all the other stuff going on with the grow room and whatnot where <laughs> that was a delayed zoom <laughs> didn't go in very gracefully um yeah, I know that you can root them in water, but I prefer to do it in moss, but I just haven't really had time to get the moss, so I just kept forgetting, so I just, it's been in this water. And it's done a lot of rooting. This had, like, no roots on it. It had one tiny, tiny little nub on it, probably about six weeks ago. And I swear, putting it on the heat pad, huge difference. I mean, it's just, it's been growing. These roots have been flying, absolutely flying out of the bottom of this cutting ever since I put it on top of this little seedling heat mat but anyways the point i need to get some moss long story short I need to just go get some moss and cat food what does she see what are you looking at what's out there oh you watching tucker is there a tucker over there yeah you good girl oh just spinning the christmas tree around hey bud yeah, nice to see you too Nice to see you, too. And I need to go to the vet and get you your medicine. Okay, there's actually a lot of stuff I need to do. Oh, and I want to remember to run by Target. Cause I'm going to be in the, they call it the valley out here. It's like where a lot of stores are next to each other. These rocks I got at Target, and I like them a lot. I think they look really nice, but I kind of buried a bunch of them when I did some repotting and some moving around. And this is actually, I need to pop this top. Just let it open up a little bit. I might just... Yeah. When I put the syngonium in here, I overwatered just a smidge, just a little bit. You can kind of see the water level down here. Well, you're supposed to be able to see the water level down here, but it's kind of wicked its way up around here, and I'd rather see it. It just needs to evaporate. That's the end of that story. Let's just take a moment. What a gorgeous day. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's cold. I'm pretty cold, but it's so beautiful. It's just, the sun hasn't been out in a few days, so it feels... Really nice. Y'all don't need to come with me into the vet's office. That'll be boring. I like how there's the Pizza Hut, Subway, Slim 180. Just setting people up for disaster. Why is the news here? I waited for them to put their camera away. I was like, I don't want to be on the news today. What's going on? Uh, this is weird. Um, Target's closed, so change of plans. Don't know what that's about. I have an idea though. A friend of my sister's works at that Target and sent a text a few days ago saying that someone had set a fire. It was either in the store, or like right outside the back door of the store. I'm not sure. So I assume that that has something to do with why they're closed. Oh, I, I, someone who was walking out with me, not out, but like walked up to the door, she said that the other Targets are doing some remodeling. So maybe they were. I don't know. But I don't appreciate it. Mostly it just doesn't work for me because I was going to go to the Starbucks and Target. I mean, I guess this is easier, but I kind of I need to pee. And, well, I mean, I could have just gone into Starbucks. Doesn't matter. I gotta go to Lowe's. I just Googled it. It's because there was a fire in the bedding department a few days ago, so they're closed. So hopefully that means the other ones are opened and that person who's talking about remodeling or something, just like that has nothing to do with anything. Okay, it's just... Google's a nifty thing. I guess that explains why the news crews are. Can you hear my car? It stopped doing it. Sometimes when I'm just like sitting still, it just rambles and does this like sound that the dealership says doesn't happen, but I it does. But I've talked to them about it and they say no it doesn't. I'm like, um yes, believe me, it does. Okay. Okay. 
Do you hear that? Do you hear it? Do, it stop. Really? As soon as I hit record, it's gonna stop? I swear, it makes so much. There, you heard that, right? What is that? Well, whatever it is, it must not be that big of a deal because it's been going on for years and nothing bad has happened yet. I'm at Pet Smart. So I apologize how zoomed in, and I mean, y'all probably don't notice, but things aren't steady, they're shaky. I tried a new setting. The problem is once you start with it, you kind of have to commit. You don't have to, but when you go to edit the video, things are like really hectic when you have like various frame rates. Yeah, that's, that's a thing, that's what I was trying to say. Oh, that's cute. It's like an old school Game Boy. The music is really loud in here, so I may not be able to vlog much. Oh, look at the armadillos. It's weird that I just want this. Not for my dog, just for me. I think it's weird and therefore cute. These are cute. Pumpkin would absolutely flip over these, but she would also like 100% eat that plastic. That's too bad. Pumpkin loves to eat plastic. I got a turtle. Isn't it cute? Yeah. Dog toy. Last thing my dogs need is another toy, but it was just, it's a little, the Christmas turtle. How cute is that? Kind of a waste of money or not. It's just, you know, the Christmas toys, I don't leave them out all year. And my dogs don't destroy their toys anymore like they used to. So this will this will last a while, so. Not a waste of money in the sense that it's going to last a long time, but a waste of money in the sense of I don't I don't know if they're gonna play with it. That's fine. They don't need to destroy my Christmas turtle anyways. My could Okay, I bought it for myself, but I think that the dogs will enjoy it too. Gonna have to think of a name for this cute little guy. And then I I'm at Lowe's. Let's go get some moss. And absolutely nothing else. Um, this mofo just about ran right over my foot. What the hell? Like like, like, was like right there. I tapped her car. I was like, excuse you, rude. Ooh hoo hoo, uh, look at you. Uh, loving the texture on this guy. Lots of dead foliage, but great texture. Does anyone remember why I'm here? Oh, that's right, moss. Okay, that was really fast. And all I got was moss. And some orchid bark. That Mulembecchia was definitely tempting, but didn't get it. They had another one that looked better, and it still was like, no, not a good idea, not today. I'm still on the fence about going to the other target. Then I could get those rocks. This means they even have them. I don't know if they do. But they had, when I was at the vet's office, this really cool little, like one of those cardboard holiday cat scratcher things, but it was a two story one. And the cats in the vet's office were just having the times of their lives on that thing. I was like, I want one. And they said they got it from Target. So, I don't know. I really don't think I have time, though. It's only like 15 or 20 minutes. But then it's 15 or 20 minutes back. And it's right next to a Home Goods and a Whole Foods. So, all kinds of temptation. Clearly, it was meant to be, though. Because look at what an amazing parking spot I got. Don't know how much or at all if I'm going to vlog in Home Goods because... Truth be told, is this Home Goods, I really don't like it. They used to be down the street. Well, like, not really. They moved locations. The old location was big and spacious. This one, the aisles are tiny. Like, you can only fit one cart in them at a time, and it's always really hot in there. Okay, but we will see. Is it me? Or does that face make it look like he's like, hey, guess what? I just farted. What? It's a Christmas manatee. Don't need it, but it's cute. Um, the hell? Mm -mm. Really, I just want a new cookie jar. I've been using this one that looks like a pumpkin, but that season has passed, and I want one that's kind of like holiday-ish, just to keep the dog treats in. There's some really interesting cookie jars here. None of them are big enough, though. Yeah, no, no. Well, this one, this one's plenty big. This will do the trick. Oh, wow, that was loud. I'm sorry. I was hoping to find something that looked like a giant ornament wouldn't that be cute but no luck this is the only one they had that was big enough for all of the dog treats this pumpkin one i like this a lot this is also from home goods home goods love them they're so cheap that store though oh my goodness i was just it was though oh, oh. 
Like, I can only take so much. It's just so crowded. And tiny little aisles that you can only fit one cart in at a time. Like, what is that? There's no room. So, it's like, the whole time... I was probably there for a half an hour, but I, in a normal size store, would have been in and out of there in, I don't know, five minutes. But I got something that works. Usually there's more treats than this. It's just they've been going through them. There. Christmas. I was about to scrub this one and oh no, dishwasher safe. Oh, I need to get that tag off. If I were using this for like actual cookies, people cookies, I don't know if I would like this. It's pretty, it's nice, hand painted, Spanish, beautiful, but it's just the lids. See how loose that lid is? Yes, everything goes in there to get pretty stale, but, but I don't think my dogs care about that, so that works. Moss, how it all began. Gave that a good soak. And I probably actually could pour the water out there. There's like two or three little pieces of Osmocote in there. Just that so there's a little bit more to the water than just water. I like rooting things in moss better just because they, in my experience anyways, transplant better over to soil once they're rooted. When they're in moss, sometimes when it's just water, it can be a little bit of a shock to them. It's like one of those things where you just have to do it. And it, but if you wait too long, sometimes it's just, I don't know. Just an easier transition. I'm not using very much to start with. That's just to make sure that it can get some heat from that heating pad. Typically, I would definitely use more than this. But like I said, this is, they're very weak, low wattage, low voltage heating pads. I think this is actually made for making kombucha. And it's just, this counter is really cold. This is a garden window and it actually protrudes. You can kind of see how it sticks out. There's nothing underneath it, so there's like hardly any insulation under there, so the heat pad just helps a little bit with that. But as this starts to root out more, I'll kind of move it up and bump it up. I know a lot of people will just like bury these things. I don't want to do that. I want to make sure that some air can get in there and it can breathe. And the whole reason I went to Target. Oh, did you see you got some new cookies, Pumpkin? They're not new cookies. That's her breakfast. Rocks. It's, to, it's not that exciting. Let's go. See? Yay! Rocks. I'll spread those out more <laughs> in a little while. That's kind of a bit much, a little bit heavy, but it's because I have this terrarium sloped, so everything kind of comes back towards the back, so I just put in a little bit of excess in the front, and then I'll get some, like, moss going on there at some point, and it'll, it'll look nice. I, I swear, it'll... It's an improvement. It'll do for now. I usually like to have, like, some wood and some twigs and various size rocks, but for now... That's good enough. I just, I didn't want to look at that dirt anymore. The soil, it was bugging me. Put that back over here, <laughs> carefully. Yeah, you see that water level in there is still kind of high. So I'm gonna leave the lid off until it gets just down about here. Might take a day or so. What'd you say? Well, it looks like while I was gone, she decided she liked the other food, but still better. This is what she prefers, so. She won't be fussing. Don't you do it, pumpkin. Pumpkin, stop. What are you doing? Pumpkin. Cookies? What are you doing? Tear up the furniture. What's wrong with you? You're so pretty, pumpkin. Sometimes your eyes are really blue and you remind me of a white walker. Wasn't an insult. All right. But, oh, you're going to tear that one up too? Don't do it. Pumpkin? Stop. Oh, here you go, good girl. Also possible that the other cat ate that food. Seems more likely considering the mess that's around everything. My other cat, there he is. Hey, old man. Hey, Charlie. That's just butts. Look at my pet butts. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Some nice rocks, doggy supplements, Christmas turtle, and a cookie jar. And I'm glad to have gotten this done. That was bugging me, because it was just one of those things where I just kept forgetting to grab moss. All the times I've been to Lowe's and Home Depot and just local nurseries over the last few weeks and just could, just kept forgetting. So that's good. Like I said, this will get raised up over time. For now, I want to make sure that the heat from this can work its way into there, because if not, I have to take it off of this and wrap it around there. So I just kind of play around with it a little bit. Did you see the Christmas turtle? It's not for you. I mean, it's supposed to be for you, but you got to wait. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out. I know. It was a lot, hopefully in a short amount of time. I don't know, I haven't edited it yet, but I need to because it's like three o'clock. Three o'clock exactly, hey Charlie. Random, kind of last minute vlog. Hope everybody's doing well, having a great day, great life, and everything's just going wonderfully for you. What'd you do? 
What did you do? Oh, did you find yourself a little carpet to lay on? Hey, don't forget to leave the video a thumbs up. Makes a big difference for the channel, and I appreciate it. And subscribe as well, and hit that notification bell. That way you know when new videos come out. I have all my social media linked down below. Instagram's the best place to find me. You see, this is why there's holes on all my furniture. You can't have nice things with cats sometimes. Anybody have any name suggestions for the turtle? I was thinking Carlos. Probably shouldn't name it because the dogs might destroy it. it the, the possibilities there. Oh my gosh, shut up. Still have to edit this video and get it out today. All right, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.